Pro Gym Workout. Josh will be joining me today for a little co-ed training. It's my lucky day. We'll be training opposing muscle groups, the chest and the back, with a little superset action. We're starting off with some incline presses and moving our way around to the back with some pull downs. Hey, Flex Peelers, you're just in time to join us for our superset, the chest and back. Josh is starting off with the incline bench press for the upper chest. Okay, come on. Last one. And up. Excellent. Okay. Now, because we're supersetting, he's moving on immediately from the incline bench press to the chin-ups for the back. Good. Now, supersetting opposing muscle groups is a tough workout because of the two major muscle groups involved. If he needs a spot, I'm helping him right here. Chin-ups are great for the upper area and the entire lats. Good. I love supersetting because it gives you a time-efficient workout. All right, look at that. Such control. Oh, good job. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, Tatiana, what weight do you want? I'll take the two and a half, please. Okay. This is what's nice about training with friends. You can change the weights for each other. You can motivate each other. Help spot. She needs a spot. Josh can help her with a lift off right here. It's really important to have a good hand placement. Good. That's first and foremost. Now, again, you want to lower the bar to the upper chest level. A good way to remember what area of the chest you're working is where the bar is being lowered to is basically where you're training. She's getting the complete range of motion, nice and slow, exhaling on the way up, retracting the scapula. Perfect. I like to get a good stretch on the way down and fully extend, squeezing the chest at the top. Perfect. Come on, let's go now. Concentrate. You can adjust your hand. Um, there's different uh, ways you can put your hand to work different parts of your upper chest, too. Okay, one more. Good, oh. Tatiana. Okay. Okay. Now again, chin-ups are hard to do. You're using your own body weight. Start off doing as many as you can and train to failure. Work your way up instead of fitting a skull. If you can only do one or two, that's fine. Work your way up to three, four, five, fifteen, twenty, as many as you can. One more. Oh, good. Now the underhand grip works more of the biceps too. Don't you feel it there? Yeah, good. Definitely. Okay. Good. I'll do a warm-up set too. Jump down here. I love starting off with the incline bench. See, uh, Kiana's grip is a little bit wider than Tatiana's was, and she's working a little bit on the, more on the outside of the upper chest. The key is to try to press the shoulder blades together and initiate the movement from that position. Good. Good form. Make sure you continually breathe also while you're doing this. Very important, keeping the back uh, flat against the, the bench. Look how she's really working her delts along with her chest, really squeezing, exhaling at the top. And one more. Okay. Good job. Thanks, Sean. If you also have a mountain with you, you can also bring that with you to the gym. It's perfect. <laughs> Great, VA. Help, help, help. help. Thank you. Also, in between sets, it's a good idea to stretch. Stretch your chest, stretch your back. I like an angle spot, personally. Yeah, perfect. What she's doing is she's at and I can spot. push against him like this yeah. and straighten my legs. Look how she's really leading with the chest. Her chest is up, upward, using a lot of bicep work. Thank you. Perfect spot. Okay. Ta-da! Our next superset for the chest and the back is starting off with the pec deck. Now, this is an excellent movement to shape and give you that nice squared chest that looks so great on the men. <laughs> <laughs> Women don't want the squared chest. <laughs> we want a nice toned chest. That's, That's what right. We want. Now, strong pecs are very important for all you athletes out there. Any racket sports, your pectoral muscles are responsible for bringing the arms across the chest. One more. Good, Josh. Notice how straight his back is and how his abs are in tight. Good. Okay, now he's going to jump over here to the pull-downs. Wide grip pull-downs for the back. Now, the wider the grip is, the more of the upper lats you're getting. You want to pull it all the way down to the upper chest. There you go. Perfect. And notice here he's keeping his back straight. He's not leaning back a lot of times in the gym. Have you seen this, Tatiana? A lot of guys will try to max out by leaning, by leaning and too swinging. Far back. Right. right. Then it becomes an arm movement. But he has a good, solid, stable base. That's because I'm cool. <laughs> and, very modest. and girls like you. <laughs> what you want to do is think about using your arms as a hook, a means to pulling with the back. Good, Josh. One more. Perfect. It's also a good idea to stretch. Stretching before your workout. What weight do you want, Tatiana? I'll take 30. Okay. Thank you. And it's important to adjust the seat height. Now, fortunately, we all have about the same uh, length of torso, so we can use the same seat heights. Also changing the arm um, levels up at the top. 
she's talking about this up here, the arm adjustments. If you have a more limited range of motion, you want to start a little bit closer together. Good, Tatiana. Notice she's leading, palms out, flexing, contracting the chest as she brings the arms together. We really like to open the chest and really squeeze on the way in. Good. Okay. One more. Perfect. All right, moving on. Lap pull down. I'll take 30, please. Now, Thank when you're you doing the pull down, it's a good idea to concentrate on retracting the shoulder blades right back here. She starts the movement, trying to push the shoulder blades, squeeze them together. Perfect form. Good, Tatiana. See how she's also kicking her chest out just a little bit? Just a little bit, not arching her back, but having a nice, smooth movement. And spotters, you're right here, giving them a little help, pushing down right here at the handles. Start off with a light weight, pyramid your sets, meaning increase the weight gradually. Good. Good. Another 30, Perfect. you'll be done. <laughs> there you go. I think that was 30, right there. Right there. <laughs> All right. Okay, my turn. Now, I love supersetting. It's a great way to get um, more done in less time. Okay, now when I do this movement, I like to um, keep my palms open. I don't like to squeeze. I like to make sure and keep the contraction on the pecs. Keep the elbows high. Also keeping constant tension. When you superset, you're going to feel it a lot more. You're going to feel a lot more of a burn. It's going to feel more like a cardiovascular workout. And you're going to feel, you're going to see it in your body. You're going to be sweating a lot and really going crazy in the gym. Oh, I love it. Good. But I don't like to waste time. I like to keep moving. And when I work out, I like to train as much as I can in less time without fatiguing the muscles. So by hitting two different muscle groups, you can get more done. Okay, pull Great downs. Workout. Now, in addition to wide grip pull downs at the same station, I can do close grip pull downs. Again, back straight, bringing the bar to chest level, contracting the biceps, the abs, and the back. Hold it for a beat. Exhale. Good. Again, the same kind of spot. Pull the push down the bar. But notice how straight.